Hi, welcome back to Danny Harris Arts. Today I'm gonna to be starting a new project, but it's not gonna be a carving. Uh, I will be starting a brown trout on my next wood carving project, but it's a little too cold outside right now for me. And uh, so I'm gonna stay inside and I'm, instead I'm gonna, I'm going to paint a brown trout. So uh, this is gonna be something a little bit different. Um, if you follow along, you've seen some of my digital uh, paintings that I've got. If you haven't, go check them out. Uh, but decided to do this the old-fashioned way with, uh, with colored pencils and uh, just to kind of give me something to do until the weather warms up a little bit and I can get started on this project. So anyway, we get the camera turned right here and get started. I uh, hope you enjoy it. So I've never used colored pencils to actually sketch with before. I did, but it was more along the lines of a coloring book type situation for my kids but I decided I wanted to try some give it a shot so I went and bought some and I really didn't know what to uh, to get so I was read a little bit did a little research and Prismacolor kept coming up and Faber-Castell came up so I went and checked them out and uh, talked to a couple guys and they recommended them both uh, so I went and bought some and the fabric castells were about four dollars a pencil and the prisma colors were only two dollars a pencil so i bought some of both just to see which ones i would like best and i just bought a range of colors that i thought would fit this painting and now that i've used them i can't tell a nickel's worth of difference in them i know one I know the Prismacolor is wax based and the Faber Castell, which is made in Germany, is oil based. But as far as the quality, they're about the same. They flow about the same. Uh, so I, I can't tell a nickel's worth of difference in them. But I think for the money, the cost difference, uh, I think I'm going to go with the Prismacolor mostly for now. So what I'm doing is just building up colors from uh, light to dark and I'm just putting them on real thin layers and I'll go back over here in a minute as you'll see to uh, build it up. Like I said, I've never used these before so I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Just got an idea. I mean, I got the background with oils and acrylics, so I got an idea of, of how I'm going to do it. Just, which is working from light to dark, like I would with acrylic or oil, and just start building up the color till I get the desired hue that I want.
what I'm doing here is I'm taking this little electric racer that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was only like five bucks. It takes two AA batteries, or two AAA batteries, excuse me. And the eraser tips are, there's two different sizes you can put in it. There's a little thin one that I'm using here. And I'm just using it to erase the halos around the spots that are on the side of the fish. And I'm kind of doing it in little dots and also using it to uh, simulate scales, scale tipping. I had an electric eraser years ago that I paid like $50 for and I just got to where I didn't use it that much anymore because I didn't draw a lot and I gave it to my son because he draws a lot. My daughter and my son and my grandkids all have artistic ability. I guess they got it from me. <laughs> but my, my granddaughter's uh, 15 and she's better than I was when I was 15. She's gonna be a phenomenal artist. And as she gets older and I have my daughter has twins they're 10 and they both can draw so they all got the talent Some of you may or may not know, I've been drawing and painting all my life, and I've always drawn wildlife or painted wildlife, fish, deer, ducks, turkey, you name it, it's wildlife I've probably drawn or painted it. So I've only been wood carving about a little over three years, and so something like this is more natural to me than wood carving. Um, I've still got a long way to go on wood carving. I've got a lot to learn and I'm still learning on every project that I do. And like just like these colored pencils, this is new to me. But the actual process of drawing and painting is not. But I really enjoy doing it. I'm going to try to do more. I started doing some digital paintings a couple years back and I've got a playlist here with some digital speed paintings that I've done. So if you haven't seen those, Go check them out and I'll leave a couple pictures here in the corner that you can see what I've done with a, a digital pen on a digital drawing tablet.
from here I am using some watercolor to put some real thin washes down of some color just to kind of tint the paper and since this since these pencils are wax based and oil based this water won't hurt it Okay, that's going to be it for this project. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and I'll see you guys on the next project.